Guitar Maniacs, what's up? It's Pete Thorne. Welcome to the studio. Hey, you of course heard this on all the guitar parts on the track at the beginning of the video. This is a brand new amp from my friend Dave Friedman and his Friedman Amplification Company. This is the Little Sister. So the Little Sister is essentially a 20 watt one channel version of its bigger sister, the Twin Sister. The Twin Sister is a two channel 40 watt amp. So this one takes one of those channels from the twin sister and mates it to a smaller 20 watt power amplifier. And essentially this amplifier actually replaces the previous Dirty Shirley Mini amplifier. It's a very, very similar amp to that one, except you've got this added switch right here, which is also featured on the two channels of the, the twin sister. This switch is labeled with a B. It's a bright switch, but it does more than just like add brightness. It actually tightens up the sound a little bit. So the amp gets a little bit more, dare I say, kind of modded 80s sounding with that switch on. Lops a little bit of the low end off, tightens things up a little bit, and so you can get into like a little bit more hard rock territory with this amp than you maybe could with the previous Dirty Shirley Mini amp. And you've also got a three-way structure switch here that allows you to vary up the gain. Other than that, the controls are really basic. You've got a, a gain control, a master control, and then three band EQ, treble, middle, bass. On the back, you got plenty of options for plugging in speaker cabinets of all different impedances, and you've also got a send and return for the effects loop. Now to do all those guitar parts on the song at the beginning of the video, I had the amp plugged into my old late 70s Marshall cabinet out in the other room. It's got G12M blackback speakers in it. I tried to use a whole bunch of different guitars, vary up the switches, vary up the gain level, vary the EQ and all that good stuff. So single coils, humbuckers, the amp's really responsive to different guitars as I'll show you in a second when I solo some of those parts and play more with the different guitars that I use. You'll definitely hear a big variety in tones even when I leave the settings the same and switch from one guitar to another, just as you would expect from a great old school tube amp. All right, let's get on with it. This is the Friedman Little Sister 20 Watt Tube Head. <laughs> So I just cut the first part in the song at the beginning of the video. Obviously, I'm going for kind of a Zeppelin-y vibe, so I tuned the high E string down to D. Got a little open G thing going. And when I started out the tune, um, I had the switch here that's called the structure switch in the uh, middle position, and that actually takes the gain down a hair. So um, you can actually get three different levels of gain just by flipping this structure switch right here. So. So you heard when I hit it down there, gain increases a little bit. And then if I kick it all the way up, we're gonna get a big increase in gain. So for this part, cause I wanted it to be kind of a cleaner rhythm guitar part, I went between that middle setting there, which is the lowest gain, and the all the way down setting, which is the middle amount of gain. My first impression is this sounds like a big amp. Like, it doesn't have a small amp feel or a 20 watt feel to it. It's got kind of like a big amp feel to it. <laughs> You know, it's got a great kind of like uh, like a, a Plexi JTM45 or something that's that's wound out a little bit, but with like some low end and some nuts, you know. Really cool sounding uh, for stuff like that. That's like just you know edge of breakup getting into into dirty. And if I kick that structure switch up again. So 
So for the tone with the Dan Electro, I use the middle position on the guitar. It's, it's a noisy single coil guitar, so I'm gonna sit in the position where it's quietest in here. But I just tweaked the tone controls a little bit. I think I brought the bass, well, it's about the same. I brought the mids back a bit, and I think I brought the treble back a hair, and I'm using the cleanest setting on the structure switch. And on the B switch here, I've got that in the upper position for a little more gain and brightness. And what a cool sound, like edge, edge of breakup sound. So uh, it sounds like this. Sounds so cool uh, with the, the middle pickup position on this guitar and with that edge of breakup. This is almost like acoustic sounding. It's really, really cool. Now I just picked up this guitar, which is my Scala uh, underdog, to play you know some power chords underneath the uh, the later part of the tune when it when it opens up a little bit. I want to get a little dirtier, but this is the same sound that I just had for the, um, the the Dano guitar. I haven't changed the thing and it just sounded so cool. I'm gonna show you what it sounds like because of course different pickups, different guitar. I wanna show you how the amp responds. <laughs> And then of course you could have that as your rhythm tone and then hit it with say a clon. Okay, so I cut a uh, rhythm guitar part that's been just basically power chords with this guitar. That kind of tough thing, you know, like maxed uh, JCM 800 or maxed JMP kind of sound. And once again, it's got a nice fat front end. Uh, I've got the bass on, well, it's not even quite at four right now, and I feel like I got ample bass there. I've backed down the treble a little bit. For this sound, the B switch here that controls um, kind of a bright and tight circuit, I turned that off to get a bit sort of like a more darker sort of, uh, I did, like I wanted to leave room for the, the lead guitar to cut through. So I thought this makes the sound a little darker. So anyway, I'll show you what it does when I turn it on. Gets a little bit more ah when you turn it on, right? A little bit more typically Marshall-y uh, bark, that kind of thing. So with it off, I feel like it's just a little bit more of a kind of like a slightly warmer, darker power chord sound, and that seemed to work well for this part. And I'm thinking about the lead guitars and leaving room for them and all that stuff. I've only got the gain on about six, so there's tons of gain beyond this. <laughs> You want to bring it all the way up there you know i think the best sounds happen with the gain a little bit lower because it you know especially with the amp at some volume it's going to get a little bit fuzzy with the gain up that high and driving that hard and stuff but it's definitely there if you want it it'll tighten it up if i turn this switch on as well so <laughs> Yeah, with the switch on, it's considerably tighter.
Okay, so I just got some lead guitar on that track at the beginning of the video, and I got the B switch or the brighter, tighter switch in the all the way up position, so for the brightest, tightest sound. I've got the gain switch in the all the way up position, so, uh, sorry, the structure switch, they call it. So that's for the gainiest tone. And I'm, I'm running the uh, the gain control on about, uh, the preamp control on about two o'clock. I got the master on about 11 o'clock. What I thought I would do is for this solo, hit it with a pedal. Yes, I cheated, I used a pedal, but I thought maybe that'd be cool because I could set the amp up for like a tight rhythm gain and then hit a screamer style pedal in front for lead as you probably would live if you had this amp, right? So um, this is the sound with no pedal. So really great tight, crunchy rhythm sound. I mean, you could even solo with that sound for sure. But I wanted to add another layer of gain for lots of sustain and stuff. So turning on the pedal. Really, really easy to solo with with this pedal. So one thing I liked about the original Dirty Shirley amp was that it actually has a really great clean sound. Everybody's always hitting the gain on Friedman amps because they do the, uh, the gain thing really well. But if you turn the master all the way up on an original Dirty Shirley, and if you run the gain quite low, lo and behold, great clean pedal platform with really, really nice sparkle to it and a great uh, just kind of high headroom sound. So um, I started actually doing that with the Friedman Dirty Shirley plugin years ago as well. I used it in a lot of pedal videos. I'll pull it up on a channel and I'll set it exactly like I just described with the, the gain down low, the master up high, and it works really well. So let's try it on this amp. I've got the gain on about, uh, well, it's nine o'clock. I've got the master on about 2.30 or so, so it turned out pretty high. Structure switch is in the middle, lowest gain setting. Um, the B switch for bright is off. Yeah, and I've got the EQ set kind of neutral. So here's the sound with no pedals or anything. Sounds great. Now let's add a couple pedals. I'm going to hit a woodshed compressor. I'm going to hit a, uh, a Mobius for chorus and an Echoplex for some delay. Everything's running in front. Makes me want to play this song. Thanks for watching my video on the Friedman Little Sister Amplifier. Great sounding amp in the old school British 60s and 70s tradition, but with some modern updates like the structure switch, the bright switch, you got an effects loop. It's nice and compact, so you can lift it around without breaking your back, but it still makes plenty of volume, so it'll work at the club or, or the pub or your basement or take it to the park. It's the Friedman Little Sister. Check it out further, the link in the video description below. Click there, it'll take you to more info. And hey, please hit subscribe if you haven't hit the bell beside the subscribe. You'll get an alert when I put out new videos. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'm Pete Thorne. Take care.